here YouTube this is a video review of boot animation previewer 2.0 as you might know the boot animation previewer 2.0 update is available for almost a month but uh, I'm reviewing now now so let's open it the first thing you'll see is the br bring new user inter interface I could, could call it the one window interface because everything is in one window I, I also added uh, uh, an extended uh, error effect for better looks what's this? let's close it ok uh, uh, first, firstly you have a brand new welcome, uh, welcome screen that tells you some info about boot animation preview then if you, then you, you you choose a method for previewing boot animations in this video we will demonstrate both firstly we will preview a boot animation from file as you might, no, might know I re removed the, the folder limitation so let's preview it and it the previous just well ok another new function is the uh, add to favorites because it's already in my favorites I can do it you open the favorites but by going to the menu favorites and view favorites and here are your favorites I can just click on my favorite and click preview it and it will preview it on favorite ok uh, now in, instead of 4 folders you have you are limited to 8 folders but in a upcoming update uh, I will remove this, this limitation too and now you don't select the part folders but uh, you select the folder in which your power folders are I will just demonstrate using this injured and apples put animation I will type the info and the speed and it will open preview ok it's done another neat feature is is that the, the previewer window can, can automatically set its size I will demonstrate that as well with this Linux BIOS boot animation and you see it sets it says automatically according to the, the frame size I will demonstrate with another smaller boot animation under 3D and this is my brother's boot animation and yeah it it set it set to QVGA resolution cool okay uh, another feature is the troubleshoot menu if you have problems, problems, just go to menu, help and troubleshoot, and click the troubleshoot button, and it, it solves the most common problems. If you have a problem and and this menu doesn't solve it, feel free to contact me. Uh, and another feature that I implemented is submit a feature request. 
you can send me an email directly from your from this application and uh, I will respond to it as soon as I read it uh, I can get good animation creator too in the about screen now you have system requirements on one top on which platform is it made in which language and who made it you can check for updates of course my server is down at the moment so the program freezes but I will fix this bug in the next release I will just pause the video until it it unfreezes. And yeah, it uh, unfreezes. Mm -hmm. so, sorry for that, but my server is down. No, and I will fix this bug in the next release. And oh yeah, as I almost forgot, you can now size the window or maximize it. Pretty cool. And uh, last but not least. You have a, a brand new notification engine. You just go to settings in general and, and, and enable notifications and, and set it its duration. I will set it to four. And yeah, when you preview a, a boot animation, a nice little notification pops up here, and I will. I just have to choose a boot animation. And here's the notification. And not just for the, the previewing boot animation, but for adding to favorites, checking for updates, removing favorites, and so on. So yeah, as you can see, I added some cool f new features in the in this update, and I can see it's the biggest update to date. You can do the change log, of course. And with the, this button, you go back to the welcome screen. And finally, you can. Exit put animation previewer where yeah, when you're done. So this is a video review of put animation previewer 2.0. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.